Hi, good afternoon. I'm back again. Yes, it's me, your guy, your host, DLG Repping. Thank you for your support and love and appreciation. Really um, dedicated to what I'm doing. So you can help me by um, just keep showing the love, the support and appreciation. And I'll keep helping you by keeping it consistent. Videos, contexts and the truth so um i've got more football context here first one is um, pep guardiola has said that he will not be deemed a failure even if he did not win the champions league really next bit of news um great news for liverpool and england that is um right back trent alexander arnold wins young pfa um, player of the season for 2019 2020 and Barcelona um, are the best in the world, according to Arturo Vidal, the ex-Bayern Munich player. Now, <laughs> sometimes one needs to shut the fuck up. And I think he should, he should keep his mouth shut. But for me, uh, let's start off with um, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, rightfully awarded um, the... Awarded PFA Player of the Year for Young Player of the Year Award for 2019-2020 season. For me, <clears throat> the assists hit. I mean, the assists between himself and Robertson alone is just outstanding. His assist alone outstanding. The goals he's got incredible. I mean, he he rides from the youth academy, a Liverpudian, through and through, and. Um, God knows how much his valuation is worth. But for me, based on what I've seen this season from him, Liverpool, I think he's been the best right back in the country. Maybe one of the best in Europe going right now. I'm not going to use world class against him because he hasn't done what he's done on a consistent basis. But he's on his he's on the way he's on the road to being world class. I mean Liverpool fans, um he is worthy of the result. Can he get even bit more better? Um, I love your views on my channel. Just leave it in my comment section below. But I feel that he's going to get even even more better. Much better than Hector Bellerin. And that's coming from an Arsenal fan. Much better than any right back that we've got of our, our club. Again, that's coming from an Arsenal fan. And that's the good and it's true. For me, he's quick. Free kick specialist. The one against Crystal Palace is superb. I mean, there's been some free kicks that he scored this season. The one that springs to mind of recent is Crystal Palace's the Crystal Palace free kick he got. Uh, he's got how many goals from right back this season? From an offensive point of view, great cross of the ball. Defensively, um, he's not bad, but positioning-wise, he could improve based on um, not just spotting danger, sensing danger and reacting to it. He has been found wanting at times, but for me... Overall, he is the best right back in the English Premier League, hands down. And that's um, Trent Alexander-Arnold. To buy him, well, you could be talking of a minimum 70, well, 60 to maybe £90 million. Pounds. Liverpool fans, in your own humble but honest opinions, how much is Trent Alexander-Arnold worth in today's market? Leave it in the comment section below. And um, I'll have a conversation with you guys. <clears throat> I mean, well, rightfully so. Um, he, he deserves to win um, the PFA Young Player of the Year Award. And he's got to be in the PFA Team of the Year Award as well. That's Trent Alexander-Arnold. All right, moving on to other news. Um, Barcelona um, are the best in the world, according to uh, uh, Vidal. Now, due to my power cut, I can't get any fucking... BBC Interactive, thanks to the power cut itself from God knows where. It's a fucking joke. I would have loved to have read what he exactly has said. Well, if I can remember, there was a bit where he said um, Barcelona don't show much of it, but they are, they are the best in the world, but they don't sh always show it. Now, for me... Oh, hold on. No, I'm not getting anything. But for me, um, would I say Barcelona at this current moment of time are the best in the world? No. Didn't even win La Liga. That went to Real Madrid. 
the deserving winners of La Liga. But he's still got Messi, who's coming on. Um, in old age, in footballing, in footballing old age. Suarez is hitting 30s as himself, uh, as I said with Messi. Um, <clears throat> they haven't got the front three no more since Neymar left to go back Paris Saint-Germain. But uh, for me, I fancy Bayern Munich overall. And if Adele plays or not, even he, he could possibly have egg on his face after tonight's quarterfinal um, clash between Bayern and Buffalo, Barcelona. For me, um, I will still say Barcelona are amongst the best in the world, but not the best side in the world. That goes to Liverpool. Why did Arturo Vidal say that? What stats has he got to back it up for this season alone to say that they're the best in the world? Arturo Vidal, your quality class, your quality player. I would have liked you in your mid-20s, but that's another story. I don't want you now. But f overall, for you to say, come out and say that Barcelona are the best in the world... You need to keep your mouth shut. You know, you could have said that amongst your mates, your family, but don't make it public because that will be read upon. And I think that would be laughed at, if I'm being honest with you. That should be laughed at. Anyway, moving on into other news. Um, Pep Guardiola has said that, um, Bas that he would not be a failure even if he didn't win the league. So I'm going to read what he said here. Right, um... What we have heard, it all started with Paul Jiggins, written by, or well, covered by Paul Jiggins. We have heard and almost choked on his ice cream as Pep Guardiola tried to convince the hundreds and thousands. Manchester City boss Pep insisted this, this week he would not be a failure if he did not deliver the Champions League trophy to the Etihad. What? If he had said that, then <laughs> he is under more pressure than I would have thought to believe I mean that is what the owners want the Champions League they want to get a man they wanted to bring in a manager back in how long ago to win them the Champions League they've proven that they can win league titles Man City but the Champions League is the one that they want the most and yet Pep has come out and said that he will not be deemed as a failure even if he did not win the Champions League Pep stupido are you really serious? That is the prestige price in football. Think about what you have just said. Hey, loco, stupido? I don't think so, Pep. Anyway, reading on Manchester City boss. The Spaniard, sorry. The Spaniard claimed the friendship has, friendships he has formed in the UK as well as the six domestic honours he has guided the club to since his appointment as manager in 2016 would be more compensated for missing out on the prize he was brought in to win. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I've been speaking about. And while former Champions League winner Captain Rio Ferdinand is still able to scoff down a Mr. Wimpy with the best of them, he could not swallow Guardiola's comments. <laughs> exactly, neither can I. Ferdinand, who skipped Manchester United to Europe's biggest honour in 2008, said, Listen, with the competitive spirit Guardiola has, the perfectionist he seems to be, and the obsession nature he has, he would not be happy if he walked away from City without winning the Champions League. Can a top world-class manager take a big job, or take a job, and win the Premier League, Back to back, Tro and other um, domestic t um, trophies, but not win a cha uh, um, the Champions League. I mean, Wenger had won us the Premier League. He won us um, FA Cups. He wanted to deliver the the Champions League, but towards the end of his tenure, it was never ever going to happen. Hence the reason why we've moved on. Anyway, reading on. He was probably more successful at Bayern Munich than he has been at City. But the fact he didn't win the Champions League in tank in Germany will always taint his name, his time there. That is due to the level he has operated at in the past and the standards he set himself at Barcelona. I think it would be the same if he if this was to happen 
again at City, he has been brought in by owners spe- specifically to win the Champions League. Whether he likes it or not, they are winning the Premier League before he arrived. So he hasn't so far achieved anything at City that nobody else has. He has. He can say what he wants about not being judged on the Champions League because he has been. He has to protect himself. <coughs> Excuse me, but he has been brought in to win this tournament. I am not saying he would be unsuccessful if he doesn't manage to win it, but he would not have done what was on the tin. Exactly. It doesn't matter how many times he goes on to win the Premier League, FA Cups, Carabao Cups. He will, in the eyes of the owners, he will never be deemed as a great success. As a great success, for that matter, if he never brought the Champions League home to the Etihad, and the fans might buy into some of some of the fans might buy into the owners' um, philosophy, meaning Man City fans, that is, or some of them. Right, reading on, but he would have not, but he would not have done what was on the team. City take uh, take on Leon in their quarterfinals Champions League. In that uh, City take on Leon in their Champions League quarterfinal in Lisbon tomorrow night. Guardiola, forty nine, guided Barcelona to the trophy twice during his four years in charge at the Camp Nou. He was unable to boss Bayern at the top Euro crown, despite three Bundesliga titles. Pep has led City to back-to-back Premier League triumphs, but the Champions League has so far eluded them and him. They are massive favourites to reach the semi-finals, but Leon took four points off them in the group stage during the 2018-19 season um, campaign. Rio said that will still be in the back of City's players' mind, so they'll need to come out quick, out of the blocks quickly. Uh, there was that will still be in the back of City's players' mind. So they'll need to come out of the blocks quickly to erase those memories. I thought I read that correctly, because they are because there can be hangovers if you want if you don't start well. What I like about this Leon team is they set up mainly three at the back, and they can defend really well. But they don't show people too much respect, and they could be they could be a banana skin for City. There is no way they are going to come out. Look at City. And all the players they have and sit back. They'll be remembering they took four points off them last season as well. And they will know that City are not unbeatable. This is a difficult tie for Guardiola. I am sure he would have picked a number of other teams to play ahead of Leon. All the pressure is on City because they have massive fav- they are massive favourites. But they but they are used to it. They've probably won 85% of domestic trophies in the last five years. They have seen, they have been tremendous in that respect. So being f- favourites will not be an issue for them. I am sure, but Ferdinand 41 believes City have to make changes to their game if they are to transfer their domestic super, superiority, superior, superiority into Europe. Can get that word out. Fucking just get that word out. Anyway, he added, "You have to play differently in the Champions League t- to the way that you do in the Premier League. It's very difficult. You play. You're playing against different players and better players more often than not because it's the elite tournament. So you have to adapt your game. For many years at United." We were going into Champions League games gone ho and still playing attacking free flowing football as if we were in the Premier League. But if you look at the years we were successful in Europe in the big games, we were stiff and hard to play against. We knew we had players who could hurt teams on the counter attack, such as Cristiano Ronaldo, Carlos Seves, Wayne Rooney, Nani, Luis Saha, and Dimitar Berbatov. But we had to be solid first, and that was a very different approach to when we played teams in the Premier League. It's about being adaptable and respecting the tournament. City sometimes have been their own worst enemy in Europe. There have been times when 
they've had games by the scruff of the neck and they've stuck to their guns and played to their principles instead of saying right let's shut down the shut down the tie and keep playing what we've got and they've been punished with the ties just one game this time the game management is even more important this time the format means the Champions League will be almost like the FA Cup and we know the shocks that that can happen when it's just one game anyone can beat anyone whereas over two legs you would have fancy the bigger stronger clubs with deep squads one legged ties make it a bit of a leveller Yep, well summed up right there by Rio Ferdinand on um, what Pep has said. And he's agreeing with me, you know. Pep might say what he wants to say, but not to the owners. They will not tolerate not winning the Champions League. And, um, you know, and if they if they f feel to bring Pep Guardiola into the office and ask him about those comments what's um, been led in the newspapers, then... It's not good reading for Pep. He has to um, deliver in the Champions League. It's as simple as. Otherwise, um, again, leave your thoughts and your views in my comment section below about Pep um, saying that he will not be a failure even if he doesn't win the Champions League. Man City fans, um, if he had said those comments, then um, give us um, your views and your opinion in my comment section below. Liverpool fans... I've said what I've said um, about Trent Alexander-Arnold. If he's a deserved winner of the PFA Player of the Year or not, then leave it in the comment section below. And Barcelona fans, be honest. Are you the best in the world? Leave it in the comment section below. So I'm going to um, wrap it up here and say thank you to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls for listening, for watching my channel and for putting up with me. Do... Um, Leave your comments below if you've got uh, your own opinions. Do smash the thumbs up like button. And remember to subscribe to my channel. 44 subscribers now. Can it be 45, 46? All I know is that I've got another 956 um, subscribers to go before streamings can happen. And once again, allow me to say peace, bless and love. And um, make sure you subscribe to to this channel smash the subscribe button hard for me passionately left right and center the more subscribers the more this channel will grow the healthier the better so thank you once again for putting up with me and thank you for the love and, and the support and i really appreciate that so once again i'm out of here have a good day i'm sure you're enjoying your day so far if you want to talk about your day then leave it in the comment section below otherwise subscribe like the comment, you know where it goes. It's your host, your guy, DLG Repping. Peace, love, and bless again. I'm out of here. Latest.